Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. It's nice to see you and it's nice to be back here shaving off this messy stubble. Um, before I show you what's going to be used in today's shave, I was sent a couple of brushes from West Coast Shaving. So I want to show you them in more detail. Uh, so let's go and take a look at those brushes and then we'll come back and I'll show you what else we're using and we'll start the shave. So I'll see you in a moment or two. Okay, let's take a closer look at these brushes from West Coast Shaving. They come in uh, this tube like this. Uh, they sent me two brushes. Um, nice packaging, uh, hard cardboard, and it says West Coast Shaving World Class Shaving Brushes, as you can see there. So um, this is the tube here. The tube opens, and it's in here, the brush. It's wrapped in paper. Uh, and this is the best badger brush. This is a red jasper. It's a, sorry, it's a pure badger, as you can see the knot there. The loft on the knot is uh, 24 millimetres. Uh, sorry, the loft is 53 millimetres. It's a 24 millimetre knot. Uh, the height is 115 millimetres, so from here to here. Um, there's the brush there. I'll just uh, show you up close and you can see the West Coast shaving, and this is very nice. This is a, uh, this is like being imprinted into the the handle, which you can see there. Very nicely done. Um, there's the colours. I'll just show you it around. And this uh, handle shape is called a beacon, beacon handle shape. Very nice. The camera probably isn't it doing it much justice, but it's uh, beautiful colours in it. it. Has reds and greens and silvers. And this knot is really nice. Yep, so there's the brush there. Uh, it has a nice flat bottom on it for standing up. You can stand it very easily. It's uh, no chance of it toppling over. So that's the West Coast Shaving Pure Badger Red Jasper Collection. I'll just put that one to the side. And this is the other one. Again, the same packaging. Like that is wrapped in uh, a bit of tissue paper, very nice. Uh, and this is a synthetic knot. The synthetic knot is a 24 millimeter knot, and the loft is 51 millimeters, and the height is 113. And it's the same um, handle, same colors. It's a, a red jasper, but obviously, this is a synthetic knot. And again, you can see. West Coast Shaving logo uh, imprinted on into the brush. It's kind of, if you can see, it's kind of pushed into the brush. It's very nice, nicely done. Without being too um, imposing, you can you can see it, but it doesn't look. It's it's not like jumping out at you, you know. So it's quite subtle. It's very nice. So that's the brush there. There's the other one. There's the both of them together with the West Coast Shaving logo. So that's the brushes from West Coast Shaving. Very nice, thank you very much for sending them. So let's go back to the video and we'll continue the shave with this brush. The brush I'm going to be using is the Best Badger brush um, from West Coast Shaving. You can see that there, you've probably seen it up close when I've showed you it. But um, nice brush, so I'm just gonna use that. Um, the razor for today, the trusty Merker 34C. Not used this in a long time. This is a two piece razor. You unscrew the bottom, the head comes off like that. And inside that, I have a feather stainless. And that's the second use on that blade. I think I used it once before in the Rocker. So I'm going to try it in the 34C. Yeah, this is a great razor for beginners or uh, experienced wet shavers alike. Very nice. Um, here is the wrapper for the feather blade. Uh, if I can find it. <laughs> there it is there. So there's the wrapper there. Uh, and before I started the shave, I put a little dot on it, which means this is the second use on that blade. 
So that's the wrapper there. The soap for today is this. This is a one of the soaps I got for Christmas, but I just wanted to show you the packaging this comes in. A lot of people say, well, it doesn't really matter about the packaging because you're using the soap. But personally, I like things to look nice and uh, I really um, like things with nice packaging and, you know, it just shows that the, the companies went to a bit of effort to package it up nice so it arrives to you looking good. Uh, this is the soap here. It comes in this box. It's, uh, it's called Don Jose and it's Abate y la Mantilla. This is an Italian soap. It comes with this nice wax seal, uh, which you can see there with the Italian colours in that little ribbon. You open the box and there's the soap inside. Yeah, just a, just a nice little touch that I like. Nice cardboard box. It's a cardboard box, Kevy. I don't care. I like the packaging. <laughs> uh, here's the soap here. Don Jose Abate y la Mantilla. Coconut and banana. Uh, I'll just have you look, have a look at the tin. The only thing about these tins is, which you can see here, uh, this one came to me with a little dent in it. Just there, you could probably see. But it's beautifully packaged. Uh, screws off like that and there's the soap inside it's um, quite a soft soap I would say I can smell the banana <laughs> it's not strong it's a kind of natural banana scent I'll give you a look at the ingredients on the bottom of the tin uh, so there it is there yeah this is a, an Italian soap and the, the Italians know what they're doing when it comes to shaving soap <laughs> no, they do. <laughs> so um, that's what I'm going to be using today. So let's um, wet this brush in the water here. So how are you all doing? Hope you're having some excellent, 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 excellent shaves. And life's treating you well. Uh, so I'll just shake that out. I'm not going to bloom the puck. I'll show you what I've done there, okay. There's the brush there, I'll just give it a squeeze. One shake, and then we'll start loading this soap. I've seen a couple of people use this soap. Not this particular scent. Wow, hit <laughs> the banana. But, um, yeah, they've used a battery y la mantilla, and, uh, supposed to be very very good so I'm looking forward to using this I'm just going to put a little bit of water into the soap let's put a bit of water on top of the soap there I'm just loading this brush I'm just back actually, I met, I, um, met up with a, a fellow wet shaver from Dundee, Arthur Lamb. Hello Arthur. Uh, we went for a coffee and a chat and we just spent about an hour just chatting about shaving. <laughs> it's great stuff. Uh, and I usually bring stuff and Arthur brings stuff and we'll say, wow look at this, look what I got and I got this and what do you think of this and other people <laughs> sitting around and probably looking at all the shaving soap and brushes and stuff on the table going what on earth are they doing? but we don't care okay looks like I've got a nice load on this brush uh, I'm just gonna wet my face a little bit and I'll gather the soap that's in this tin and I'll use it as a pre-shave I'll put the link to the, uh, the West Coast Shaving and I'll also put the link to Abate y la Mantilla. I think you can get this in the UK from, I think it's the English Shaving Company. I'll put, I'll put all the links in the description and then you can go and have a look for yourself. This video again 
probably going to go on a bit, but use the fast forward button if you need to. And just uh, get some hot water in the sink. Okay, let's get going with this brush. Super soft. This one did have a, a bit of a smell to it, so I uh, lathered up some soaps with it, just washed it with shampoo, and just left it sitting for a while, overnight, and then once it was dry, <laughs> I put some aftershave in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some water into that, into the brush. Yeah, it's lovely and soft. Pure badger. I think um, West Coast Shaving, as I mentioned, I think they sent out uh, a few of these um, ancient stone collection brushes to a few shavers here on which I've seen a couple of reviews, but. Um, go and take a look at the site. And I think they're actually on sale at the moment. So. Made in the USA and I got a haircut today. What do you think? I always say this but I'm getting it finished off tomorrow. <laughs> good. Not good I'm getting it finished off. Good. That's the lather done. Okay, so no. I'm put some more hot water in here. I'm just heating up the blade. Yeah, I've had a few questions in the comments recently, just from uh, people saying that they're going to be to start de shaving and what do I recommend? Blades and razors and stuff like that, nothing too expensive. So I always point them towards the Wilkinson Sword Classic, the 34C, or the Edwin Jagger DE89. They're not too expensive, but um, if you do enjoy shaving, they'll last you a lifetime. Okay, let's uh, get the shave on with this soap. I'd forgotten how good this razor is. It's. Uh, very nice to use. After the last um, few shaves with the rocker, this feels like a uh, like butter. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's uh, <clears throat> cutting at all, but it is. Just because the rock is so efficient. Yeah, great razor, 34 C. A razor that should be in every Wet shaver's den. And uh, this is a nice soap. It's um, got a nice glide. Cushion on it. And the smell, I, I'm not getting much coconut, I'm getting a, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of banana.
Yeah, but it's not a it's not a synthetic banana. It's too sweet banana smell. It's a just a nice banana scent, quite natural scent. Okay, let me rinse this off. I'll come back for pass number two. Nicely rinsed off. Back to the brush. <laughs> It seems strange to have a, some people might think, a banana scented soap, that's just wrong, but it's not a, it's not a sickly strong banana scent, <clears throat> very natural like I said. And just painting on with this brush from West Coast Shaving. Very nice. Okay. Pass number two. I think we'll start at this side, across the growth of the hair. And uh, not a lot of feedback as you can hear from this razor, which is a a sign that the stubble is cut is cut and there's not much left to cut. <laughs> which is good. And someone else said in the comments <laughs> when you shave up here you go very close to your eye. And uh <laughs> I actually have stubble that grows up here. That's why I shave so I don't know if you can hear it. I actually have, yeah, a little bit. I can just feel it there. Can you hear that? That's, <laughs> I'm sorry if it um, freaks some people out. Oh, he's going to take his eye out with that razor. And you can hear the feedback there, for sure. It's amazing how, um, how different each razor feels. When you're first starting out shaving this way, you kind of think, well, a razor's a razor, isn't it? You put a blade in it and it cuts the stubble, but um, when you start using different razors and different blades, you get to find out <laughs> um, just the feel of each razor and blade feels different. Well, nice slickness on that, residual slickness, very nice. Okay, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, you're rinsed off. I'm just, uh, there's still some Suds left in this tin, so on the top of the soap, so I'm just gonna apply that. I'll get the brush. It still does have uh, this brush, it still does have a little bit of smell, but of badger, but. Not much. Look at that, I just added a bit of water there and it's, uh, the ladder's exploded again. Maybe because I put the suds on from the tin as well. A nice ladder. From the Abate Ilamantia. So
so. <laughs> Beautiful scent. I really like it. It's different. Um, you get this soap in a few different scents. But they're not like your normal sort of um, sandalwoods and cologne type scents. Very different, but nice. Okay. Looks good. Okay, pass number three. Against the growth. And the razor singing now, you can hear it. Yeah, there's like nice um, <clears throat> slickness on that. Mind your eye! Whoosh! <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. Very nice. So how is your um, shaving bands going? 2018, I promise I'm not, I'm not buying anything else for at least two days. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying not to buy any more stuff just now. But I've, uh, for Christmas I got a uh, a voucher for the, the gentleman's groom room, so no doubt I'll be down there soon. <laughs> but I don't know what to get. I'll have to uh, have a look at the website. Okay, three passes done. Let's have a little feel about for uh, any pickups. Yep, yeah, usual spots there. There. On the De Niro. Again. I'd be as well just doing four passes, wouldn't I? <laughs> it's like, how much am I missing like this little bit here? That's okay. Okay, the De Niro.
I love using this razor. Really good. And again, this feather blade is very comfortable. Some people say um, when you use a feather blade for the first time, it's quite harsh, but then it kind of, after the first time, it takes the edge off it and it's comfortable. And that's definitely the case today. Very nice. Okay, I'm just going to scoop what's left in this brush. Have a little face wash. You know the drill. This soap is excellent. Very good properties in it. I'll rinse off with hot and cold and I'll see you in the post shave. Here we go. Nice shave. Okay, post. There's lavender witch hazel. Splash that. A great post shave feel from that soap. Nice shave. There's lavender. Uh, the aftershave for today is this uh, to go with the soap. Petrolon Swiss aftershave. Um, you can see it there. And the notes in this are banana, lang lang, geranium, rose, lilac, eucalyptus and Norway spruce. And this has a wonderful healing properties. If you have a bad shave, use this and it calms your skin right down. <laughs> it smells like banana. Ooh. Got a little dot on my lip there. This will sort it out. <laughs> okay, Let's see if there's any feedback. Shouldn't be too much. Nope, a little bit on the moustache. But that is, uh, it's banana. <laughs> uh, and it's quite a floral scent. You can get the rose and the lilac. It's very nice, I like it. Yeah, it's just a little, tiny little dot on my lip there, that I must have caught. Mm. But other than that, very nice. Yeah, very nice. So that's uh, Petrolon Swiss. I think it's called Petrolon Swiss Aftershave. Okay, let's put that up there. And to put the protection back in, I'm going to use Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm, unscented. Comes in a little pump like this. Just that much. Roll it into the hands. That's all you need. Feel that certainly didn't feel it, and maybe just uh, when I put the aftershave on, that's often what happens if you've got any little dots. As soon as you put that aftershave on with the alcohol, <laughs> they, they kind of appear, but um, I certainly didn't feel that one. Never mind, that's all from me for today. Let's go over what we've used again the razor was the Merkur 34C. Wonderful razor. Three piece. Comes apart like that, screw the bottom, head lifts off. And inside that I had a feather blade, second use on that. Screws hard. 
together like that. The soap today was Abate y la Mantilla Don Jose uh, Coconut and Banana. Wonderful soap. Um, I've just noticed that he's uh, the guy, Don Jose, there is carrying coconuts and bananas. <laughs> uh, and there's the soap there, it comes in this tin. Very good soap. Uh, the brush for today, wonderful. West Coast Shaving, uh, Ancient Stone Collection, and this one is Red Jasper in uh, Pure Badger here. Very soft. Still has a little bit of stink to it, but that will go as you use it. Um, yeah, very nice brush. Performed well, easy to gather the soap in it. Lathered up the soap easily. Very good, no complaints. Um, brush, razor, soap. Uh, we then rinsed off, had a little face wash, rinsed off with hot and cold. Um, the post shave was Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. Then the aftershave was Petrolon Swiss. Very good. And I finished it off with Taconic Shave Aftershave Balm Unscented. And that, ladies and gents, is the shave for today. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the weekend. If it is the weekend I get this uploaded, I think it will be. Um, whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Uh, because I know I certainly will. Let me just uh, put a little bit of water on that. Any anytime you cut your lip, it takes forever to to stop bleeding. But that's only a tiny little dot. I'm, uh, I may put the styptic pencil on it once I finish this video. Okay, have yourselves a wonderful time. Have some great shaves, and until the next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.